this class we work out three problems. First problem is, this is a given figure. This is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means AB is equal to AC. Two sides are equal. Here BC is equal to 18. Find the values of 1. Sin square B plus cos square C. Second question, turn square C minus secant square B plus 2. I redraw the diagram. This is the isosceles triangle. In the center point, I draw this line. This is A, B, C. So this is D. This value is given 10. This value is given 10. The total BC is equal to 19. Therefore, sorry, uh, this is 18. This is 9. This is 9. So this isosceles triangle consists of two right angled triangles. This is 1, this is 2. First I consider this triangle. So first triangle, this is A, this is B, this is D, this is 10, this is 9. I have to find A. So A B square is equal to B D square plus A D square. Okay, so this is 10 square is equal to 9 square plus a d square. So 100 minus 81 is equal to a d square. That is equal to 19. a d is equal to root 19. So a d value is root 19. Now I know the perpendicular. Perpendicular is opposite to acute angle. This is root 19, base is 9, hypotenuse is 10. Now I can easily find sin b. Sin b is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse, root 19 by 10. Sin square b is equal to root 19 by 10, the whole square, that is equal to 19 by 100. Okay. Cos B, cos B is equal to base divided by hypotenuse, 9 by 10. So, cos square B is equal to 9 by 10, the whole square, that is equal to 81 by 100. I can also calculate secant square B. So, secant square B is equal to 1 by cos square B cos square b. So, 1 by cos square b is 81 by 100. That is equal to 100 by 81. So, three values. One is sin square b is equal to 19 by 18. Cos square b is equal to 81 by 100. Secant square b is equal to 100 by 81. Now, I take the second triangle. This triangle this is this is the triangle here this is a this is d this is c this is 9 this is 10 again this is root 19 okay now acute angle is c a reference angle is this so sin b sin sorry sin c is equal to sin c is equal to root 19 by 10 okay sin square uh, b sin square c is equal to root 19 by 10 the whole square that is equal to 19 by 100 cos c cos c is equal to 9 by 10 that is equal to sorry sin square cos square c is equal to 9 by 10 the whole square that is equal to 81 by 100 i can calculate turn turn, turn square c tan square c tan square c is equal to sin square c minus cos square c cos square c so this is 19 by 100 divided by 81 by 100 that is equal to 19 by 81 so sin square c is equal to 19 by 100 cos square c is equal to 81 by 100 Tan square c is equal to 19 by 81. Now the first question is sin square b plus cos square c. Sin square b, sin square b is 
19 by 100. So 19 by 100 plus cos square c. Cos square c is 81 by 100. 81 by 100. So this is 100. This is 19 plus 81. That is equal to 100 by 100. That is equal to 1. First question answer is 1. Second question. Tan square c. Tan square c is 19 by 81. Minus secant square c. Secant square b. Secant square b is 100 by 81. 100 by 81 plus 2. Plus 2. Okay. Plus 2. This is equal to. This is 81. This is 19. This is minus 100. Plus 2. Okay. That is equal to. Minus 81 by 81 plus 2. That is equal to minus 1 plus 2. That is equal to plus 1. So, second question answer is plus 1. Sin square b plus cos square c is equal to 1. Tan square c minus secant square b plus 2 is equal to 1. This way, you have to work out this problem. Second problem, this is a given figure. A, B, D, C. B, D is equal to D, C. Find the cot angle ABC divided by cot angle ADC. Second question is turn angle DAC divided by turn angle BAC. Here BD is equal to DC. Let BD is equal to X. I can write DC is equal to X. Both are equal. Therefore, this is X, this is X. This figure consists of two right angle triangles. One is this is the first triangle. This is A, C, B, this length is 2x, this is x plus x, this is 2x. So first is cot angle A, B, C, this is uh, reference angle B. Now I can calculate cot A, B, C, cot angle A, B, C. So cot angle A, B, C is equal to base divided by perpendicular that is 2x by ac i consider the second triangle this triangle is this is the second triangle this is the second triangle if this is ax this is d this is c this angle is a here the reference angle is d here this is d okay here cot angle a D C cot angle A D C is equal to that is base divided by hypotenuse X divided by A C. So the question is cot A B C and they divided by cot angle A D C. So 2 X by A C divided by X by A C. So that is equal to 2 X by A C into AC by X so this term will cancel it this is equal to 2 the first question answer is 2 first question answer is 2 this is 2 so second I have to calculate turn angle DAC divided by turn angle BAC this is first I will take this triangle this is A D C, here the reference angle is D. This, this is the reference angle, this is X. Okay. Turn DAC. So this is this uh, sorry, this is angle is this this is the reference angle. So this side opposite to this is perpendicular, this is base, this is hypotenuse, this value perpendicular is X. Okay. So first I will calculate turn DAC. Turn Turn angle BAC. BAC is equal to perpendicular by base. That is X by AC. Second question. Turn angle BAC. I will consider this triangle. This is the, this triangle. Again, this is I have to calculate. This is this is A. This is B. This is C. This is 2X. BC is equal to 2X. And this is this side is perpendicular, this is base, 
this is hypotenuse so tan angle a sorry then b a c is equal to perpendicular by base 2x 2x by a c okay the question is tan angle dac tan angle dac that is equal to x by ac divided by tan angle bsc 2x by ac so that is equal to x by ac into ac by 2x this will become the answer this is 1 by 2 so the second question answer is 1 by 2 this answer is 1 by 2 this way you have to work out this problem third problem this is the given figure find y second question is sin alpha third question is secant alpha minus tan alpha into secant alpha plus tan alpha ok so apply the Pythagoras theorem put this is a this is b this is c a b square is equal to b c square plus a c square so this is 2 square is equal to b c b c square is equal to plus a c square this is 1 square so 4 minus 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 that is equal to b c square b c is equal to root 3 therefore y is equal to root 3 first question answer so i know this is root 3 so this is acute angle therefore this is perpendicular this is base this is hypotenuse okay now i can easily find sin alpha sin alpha sin alpha is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse root 3 by 2 this is sin alpha this is a second question answer sin alpha is equal to root 3 now i can find the cos alpha cos alpha is equal to base divided by hypotenuse here base is 1 hypotenuse system this is 1 by 2 this is cos alpha ok cos alpha is equal to 1 by 2 sin alpha is equal to root 3 by 2 now i can find tan alpha tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to sin alpha by cos alpha sin alpha by cos alpha that is equal to root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 2 2 get cancel that is equal to root 3 this is tan alpha Okay, next I can calculate secant alpha. Secant alpha is equal to 1 by cos alpha. That is equal to 1 by cos alpha. Cos alpha is equal to 1 by 2. So this is 1 by 2, that is equal to 2. So the third, third question secant alpha. What is secant alpha? Secant alpha is 2 plus uh, tan alpha. Secant alpha minus, this is not plus, this is minus tan alpha tan alpha is root 3 ok this is root 3 so into secant alpha secant alpha is secant alpha is 2 2 plus tan alpha plus tan alpha is plus root 3 ok simplify it 2 into 2 4 um, uh, plus, plus minus 2 into root 3 so 2 into root 3 this is plus 2 into root 3 minus 2 into root 3 plus minus root 3 into root 3 that is equal to 3 these two terms will cancel 4 minus 3 that is equal to 1 so this is a third question answer second alpha minus tan alpha into second alpha plus tan alpha is equal to 1 this way you have to do this problem thanks